What's up, guys? How is it going? Hope things are going well. And today, we're going to be talking about the New York Jets. Because episode 2 of Hard Knocks just dropped last night. But yeah, if you haven't seen the first episode, go watch it. It's, it's pretty good, I promise. I'm not lying to you. But yeah, anyway, I want to start talking about the second episode. So the first episode focused a lot on Aaron Rodgers. This episode, is you still see a lot of Aaron Rodgers, but it's kind of a lot more spread out. Uh, last episode, we didn't see uh, defensive tackle Quentin Williams, but in this episode, we see a, a, little, a little bit more of Quentin Williams, and he's, he's pretty good. He, he's pretty good on camera. Um, he seems like a nice dude, and he's really fucking good at football. Did I, did I forget to mention that? He's pretty fucking good. In um, the Jets-Panthers joint practice that they had, um, Quinn Williams had 11 sacks. 11 sacks on Bryce Young. It was, wow, he's pretty damn good. And I don't know if that says a lot more about the Panthers' offensive line or Quinn and Williams himself. Either Bryce Young is going to die next season or um, the Jets' uh, defensive line is going to be the best in the league. But it, it could be both. One thing in the episode that I thought was very interesting was that Robert Sala brought down like a psychic guy. I'm not sure if, it's, if that's his actual title, but I'm just going to go ahead and call him a psychic. So the psychic guy, he's talking to the whole team. The psychic brings down Michael Carter randomly, I guess. I'm not sure if it was planned out or not, but he brings down Michael Carter. He has him face away uh, from the crowd. He's like, um, imagine you're wearing a different number, and then, uh, Carter was thinking number 10, um, the psychic guy gets, like, a, out a little white, uh, whiteboard, he writes down the number 10, facing away from Michael Carter, and he's like, um, what number were you thinking of? And Michael Carter says 10, and he turns around and he sees that he wrote the number 10, but that, that's not the only one, um, he brings down McCall Hardman, so... He gets a bunch of random puzzle pieces out on the table. He's like, McCall, pick two random pieces. He picks two random pieces. He reveals a puzzle, and it turns out that the two random pieces that McCall Hardman picked fit the puzzle. But then he's like, hey, McCall, um, what do you think the score of next year's Super Bowl is going to be? And he's like, it's going to be Jets 49ers 31-21. And then the psychic guy goes over the puzzle, flips it over, and what does it say? Jets 49ers, Jets win 31 to 21. Now, I'm not sure if that's actually going to be the Super Bowl, but I mean, it could be. It could be. Who knows? But that's not the only one. Um, he has um, one of the safeties think of a random animal. Oh, not a random animal, but he had like a list of animals. But, um,. He picks a random animal, then he gives a deck of cards to Aaron Rodgers, and he tells Aaron Rodgers to look through the cards and pick a random card, and then he has Aaron Rodgers close his hands, in which he picks um, a random card from Aaron Rodgers' hands. It was the three diamonds, and that was the one that um, Aaron Rodgers was thinking of. But then, but then, he has Aaron Rodgers open up his hands, and there was a goldfish in there. And that was the same animal that the safety picked. So <laughs> I thought that was pretty nuts. And I thought Robert Sala um, brought in the right guy to show the team um, that you can't let things get in your head. That sometimes the defense is going to know what you're doing. Like dead face, poker face. You, you got to not let the defense know where you're going to throw the ball, where you're going to go. So yeah, I thought all that was pretty cool. Um, they also show the Jets Panthers practice. The defense did good, like I mentioned. Quinn Williams had eleven sacks, but um, it also showed the offense being a little iffy, like inconsistent. Um, Rodgers had to escape the pocket a lot. The offensive line wasn't doing too good, and there were a lot of incompletions. So is this this may be a sign that the Jets offense is going to struggle next year, and that the defense is going to be phenomenal like it was last year, but I mean, again, it's practice, one bad practice isn't going to determine how your season's going to go, but, you know, it could be a sign, and um, let's talk about the game, let's talk about the week one preseason game, um, 
in this game, we see a bit of Will McDonald, uh, the rookie that they just drafted. He played pretty fucking good. Um, and he, he had, I think he had a couple sacks in the game, actually. But I know there was an instance where the Jets only rushed three, but Will McDonald still got a sack. And, I mean, that's a good sign. He could be a big addition on that Jets defensive line. And yeah, guys, I thought the episode was pretty good. And I'm excited to see episode three next week. And uh, yeah, um, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know. If you haven't seen it, I would recommend to go watch it. And yeah, that's about it, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one.